This is a story. A story that now takes its place in the archives of RuneScape history. A story of wonder, friendship, community, and ambition. A story that captures RuneScape in what I believe is its truest form. A story with thousands of writers, all who don't know they've written anything yet. This is a story that starts where every other legendary RuneScape story has started. Give me your armor. I'll trim it. Oh, we're so back. I'm gonna watch the YouTube. What you gonna watch on YouTube? Go away. Whoa. Who's this? You are a bot. Who? Me? Could have swore you were talking to me. I was. Dip sh**. Wh what did I do? Why you say you mean dumb. stuff? What the? You can't Why just you say that. Why you walking that close to me? Cause you called me the B word. I can see the chat you f Why are you being mean? Damien f off. Damien? Who's Damien? Oh. Oh, it's this guy. No, he's running away. Damien seems nice. You need to go play the game instead of being here. You wanted my armor. Yes, give me your armor. Oh no. I'll trim it. Damien, don't give anyone Damien, your armor. Don't. It looks great the way it is. Damien, give me it. Exit trade. Damien, don't give your armor. Can you friend me? Don't friend her, what? Damien, find a different friend. Give me the armor. Do not give anyone your armor. No, I met you, not the one that's asking for my armor. Oh, he wants to be my friend. Yeah. I can trim armor. Okay, you know what? That's it. You can't just be doing this. You're getting reported, and I'm getting player moderator. Guys, what seems to be the problem? I'm broke, Brumple. That's the problem. How you broke? You got cool robes and cool sword. Can I show you something? Sure. Follow me. You say broke, I'll show you broke. Look at this guy. Choose that gun fit. Pants with holes. You look straight out of a Disney movie. You should be grateful. LOL. This stuff isn't worth much. Tell that to Charlie. Plus it was gifted to me. Charlie would kill, shoot, and steal for your sword. I need to support my goblin child. On my back. Oh my god. Is that thing alive? Uh, define alive. Opposite of dead. Don't listen to that um, guy. 50-50. Last person that should be defining alive right now. Lamau. Least credible person to define what alive is. Why? Because I'm not wearing pants. My poor child needs food. Without your kitty. I don't know what's going on. You don't have a head. What head? I don't have one. See what he's missing? I'ma need some of that. You need some head too? Hey girl! I, I didn't mean to be here this long. I just wanted to show Nick what real poverty is. We can go back now. Yeah. This dance looks like it says, oh shucks. <laughs> what do you mean by that? Now what we do? Uh... Sup guys. No, that, that answers it. Guys. You know anything about caring for known children? Me having trouble. Oh, this guy's trading me. I think we can all agree here that I deserve this. You, I was. Buy yourself something noise. I'm a mother in need. Look at my child. Holy moly. <laughs> it's not that bad looking. It doesn't have a mouth. But you don't have one either. Oh. Well, f. This girl's just swinging a knife around out here. I'm trying to figure it I'm out. I'm trying to think of what you would like. What? You just stab people. Stabbing people is based. Why you got eye patch on? You hurt your eye or something? Studio Ghibli movies are great classics. Have you seen like They Howl's don't Living see me in front of them. They Nanny, this is what it's like talking to you. Brumple, what the fuck do you want? Begone thought. Nanny, how's it going? OMG LMAO. He's talking to the wall instead of me. Happy cry face. It's just how I felt. Okay, what? I was trying to talk to my friend. I was asking about your eye patch. Why you were in it? It's Mem Ear's item. She lost an eye from stabbing. I lost an eye in a stab off battle. You were stabbing and got stabbed back. They died though. Nami is a space pirate. What the heck is space pirate? I only drink B Pop Cola. A pirate in space? Oh. Come on, get with the program, Brumple. Sheesh. My brain isn't in your guy's futuristic level yet. You ain't talking to a wall no more, Brumple. I understood the wall a lot better. Any real any players, real players, players here? here? Well, I guess that answers that. Too many splashers, LOL. Oh my god, that is too many splashers. What is this? They're taking all the freaking goblins. Guys, can I kill these, please? Bunch of gob hogs. I'll show you how to kill. You guys aren't doing a good job. What they doing? They trying to kill goblins, but they aren't good enough. Mock them. They are weak. Yeah, they're too scared to come over here. Also, Rumple want a better shield? No, I like this one. Okay. Thank you, no. Lol, I know last guy I lured was dumber than you. Whoa, skull and bone. I lured him twice. Who is luring? I lure noobs into the wildy for fun. How do you lure wildy? Social engineering. I just get them to follow me and trust me. How do you get them to trust you? I trust you. Oh. 
Why do you lure people? Because it's funny. Oh, I didn't even think of that. Ooh, a clue. What are you, Sherlock Holmes? Indubitably. He does say that, I think. What clue did you find? Talk to Gertrude. Wanna come with? Okay. Wait, is this a lure? Nope. Okay, I believe. Smiley face. My god, they got RuneScape t-shirts. <laughs> Holy shit! They- wow. I just witnessed assault. We better keep moving. Can't move. Why can't I move? It's going- Romeo is literally stopping me from moving. I can't walk. Why does it do this? You still coming? Wrong, y'all tried stopping me. Ha ha ha. That's an easy quest. If you want to do it. Pretty funny dialogue too. Read that play too many times, I already know the ending. Ha ha, the ending is a little different here. Want to go to a scary mansion? That's the next clue. So this is a lure. Tu es ma nouvelle femme! Suis-moi! Non, je ne suis pas ta meuf. Come! I think we just crossed into Quebec. Oh, thank God you're a local. Just gotta show the incels some attitude. What did you say? I said, I ain't your girl, bitch. Essentially. Dang. Okay, this is a sketchy neighborhood. Yeah, lol. Do you usually take scary walks like this? Lol, only when I'm doing treasure clues. Ooh, I got treasure. Wow, it's been buried here this whole time. Whoa, defense amulet. Now you can't die. I'm immortal. You seem to know your way around here. Yeah, I'm pretty new, but I figured a lot out. How do? Been playing for a few weeks, but not regularly. What got you to start playing? In. Saw so videos on YouTube. There's a guy called Settled. Seems weird. And another called Soup. Weirder. They're really good videos, to be honest. I'll be sure to check them out, probably. I don't fully understand them, lol, but they make it entertaining. Would I understand them, you think? They use a lot of complicated parts of the game. Yeah, I wouldn't get it. Can you stand next to me in the bridge? Okay. I am gonna take screenshot. Aww. Epic. Are you guys luring? We need milk. Why? Quest stuff. That sounds dangerous. Click the cow with the bell. Yeah. Get on your knees and get that white what? stuff, you slut. What? What the? Greater than slash slash You can't slash say slash that. I just did. She's getting a lot of milk. Like, she just... She keeps going. She's been doing this for... Like, a while now. Why are you milking the cow? Surely you have enough. She's not stopping. Why does she need this much milk? The cow can't take it anymore. You're scaring the I cow I like lady. getting on my knees for some of that delicious white stuff. I, I, I don't know, man. I gotta go. This is, what I, this is what I get for playing on a weekend. I should know better. How'd you get that at your level? This person worked like a hundred hours to get that outfit just so someone can ask that question. And it actually worked. Are you an assassin? I could be. That is exactly what an assassin would say. But I mean, would someone with level one in all stats really be an assassin? Think about it. You are level one in all stats. Except agility. Oh, that would make sense. I'm just an agile person. Do you kill a lot? Not an assassin. Never. You're good at this. That actually looks ridiculous. He's kicking the goblins. The whip doesn't work. Why you kicking if you got whip? Member item. I will be right back. Be fast. Member of what? Member of paid worlds. So. Oh. Did you know about members? Uh, what is member? Oh, I don't pay for anything. Members is the game is bigger. Is that where you are from? Yeah. I brumple. Hello. What a good day now. Ned help with anything. I just want to know how to get red armor. My armor? Yep. Yeah. That's members only, sorry. Everyone keeps saying member. It's getting on my nerve. I just want better armor. Oh, right on cue. Oh, look at that. You just have extra money sitting around. You can get better gear now. Who do I give this to? Go to GE. Where is that? No, no, that's my line. Everyone says that. It means nothing to me. Follow. No, follow me. Oh, he wants to take charge. <laughs> this guy's... Oh, yeah, this guy's following the money. He made his choice. Don't even know what a gi is law. Oh, shut up. Stock market. We are going to the market. There is danger along the way. Someone kill me? Dark wizard. No one is killing anyone. Very aggressive. I train my skills. Is that good? Okay, that's a stupid line. You're not even trying. This is a safe path. Remember it. Okay, hold on. I take a pic of it. Look at your map and remember it good. Hey, Rocket, are you lost? Because other way is sure death at your level. What? Is the gi here? No. Brumple is distracted by pretty woman. No. Smiley face. Vera Kitty, you coming? Don't be distracted, lads. No, I like it here. She likes it here. What are we doing again? Brumple, you can stay with her or you can improve your account at the Grand Exchange with us. Oh man, do I really gotta choose? Yes. Smiley face face. All right, fine. Damn it. Frowning face. You knew? No. You, I are not new? Oh, no, I am. I thought you meant if I knew that person. Lol. New. That's back at Goblins. What? You need an axe to chop down tree, then it turns into canoe. <laughs> we should keep going. Eve, nice outfit. Thank you. Smiling face. It's all right. Wow, the GE is timeless in the worst way possible. This is it. The most important place in RuneScape. This is the most important. This place is anxiety. Yep. You made it. Talk to the blue shirt guys and type in Iron Set and okay. Iron Sim. Okay, I think I'm going to use this opportunity to try and slip Got away it. here. I'm just going to make it look like I'm going to buy something and then disappear into the crowd. There's just so many people out there, you know? I got to see what else is... 
there for Gary. Like this, like Crystal here. What's Crystal up to? I'm sure she's got a crazy story. Crystal. Oh, are you kidding? All right. It would appear he saw me leave. Did you get it? Get what? What do you mean? I gave you money. Yeah, and? How did you get here? Oh, there were too many people, so I left. I'll get later. All right, lol. Come with me. Okay, do we have a goal? I don't know. I'm just wall semicolon king. Is there somewhere you want to go? I don't know. I am new. Lol. I don't know anything about this place. I have tried this game five or six times. Every time I get lost, I log out and start again. The game map isn't hard to learn. It's okay to get lost. We were all lost at some point. I am always lost, I think. This is a free server. The map is much smaller. Smaller. I can show you everything in like 10 minutes. That would be epic. I will be timing you know. So this is Barb Village. Down here is a dungeon for training melee stats. Not a lot of clothing here. No, but also, do not go in this dungeon. Why? Until you have better gear. It can't be that hard. Trust me, you didn't even get the iron armor. I can't take anything inside there. Most players don't leave Lumbridge like Watch. that. Watch. What do you mean don't go down here? Wait. As if, as if this place is really that bad. I mean, okay, okay. uh... What the fuck? Why did you do that? Let's keep going. Are you good at this game? I guess not really. You just hang out at the starting zone and give people money. Not always, haha. My membership ran out and can't get a bond because they went up a lot on the market, so I'm gonna buy members once I get paid this week. A bond like from the war? Yes, like from the war. This is Falador, Big Castle, White Knights, Party Room. Can I be a knight? You can start the quest to be one, but you have to go to Members World to do Knight's Quest. That has messed up for me. Mems is so expensive, haha. Start saving gold for Mems Law. Yee, I have 100k at the moment. Oh, you're almost there. You almost you can almost get one. If that locked bond does get you members? Yes, 14 days. Is that enough time to become a knight, you think? I think so. Do you play a lot? Do I play a lot? Is he asking me that? Does it look like I play a lot? Not really, but I don't know. I'll play a lot more if I can be a knight. Well, now you have a reason to work for a bond. Something's happening in the party room. Party, party, party. What's happening in the party room? Yes. Guard screaming about a party. Remember I said party room. No, but let's go to it. So this could be your shot. Shot it lot. To make bond money, if we're lucky. Will there be girls there? It looks like it started, haha. I just feel like no one's ever truly having fun in the party room. Everyone's usually just really sad they're not getting money. This sucks. This is what parties are like in RuneScape. This is as good as it gets? Pretty much. There's gotta be a party somewhere. Alright, what's next? For your law. No. Not again. <laughs> Why would he stop there? Hey. Let hey. me out. These guys are always here. Why do they Let him Why through. do they do this? Oh, they're actually letting me through. Okay. That was nice kind of. That was humiliating. Yeah, that didn't go too well. Watch this rock. Yep, this is the air altar. It's used for rune crafting. Not a fun thing to do. Not interested suddenly. Moving on. Watch with these wizards. Uh honestly don't remember. Probably a quest I forgot. I only do quests if I hunt Vade to, so I don't know why they're here. There is a quest helper plugin to make it hey, work. Okay, let us get going. Little town. What is this? Yep, this is Remington. Nothing here pretty much. Why did they put it in the game if they're in nothing? Well not in free servers, lol. Let me guess. Members, this town is epic. Same story, different town. Well, there's a big reason members go here. What? This portal. Where does it take you? It takes you to a house that you own. I own a house? Not on free servers, haha. So you're telling me, if I go on a member world, I can't own a whole house? Not for free. You gotta pay for one. How much? Like 1k lol. Oh, so with the money you gave me, I can get like 20 houses. Dude, this guy's gotta be mind blown at the stupid shit I've said. That's wrong in different ways, but you only get one house. Do you have a house? Yeah, I'll be able to use it once I go back. Does it look cool in your house? Yeah, it's not bad. I have it decorated a bit. I wanna see it. Maybe one day. Today. You need members, and I also need members, so no lol. You can add me, and if you get it next week, you can come see. Okay, I like you. Alright, I'm doing the only logical thing to do here. I just logged in on my other account. I'm gonna give this guy a bond, so he can go be at his house. What the f***? Like, what? 40 question marks. Dude. Giving me a bond, too, because I want to see his house. What the fuck? Fuck. Fuck, fuck. What is this? Dude, thank you so much. No one's gonna believe you, also. That's so stupid. I think this guy's in shock. It's not moving. Believe what? Did he trade you two? You were just talking about a bond, and then you gave me one. I'm gonna see if I can convince him that it wasn't me that gave him the bond by blaming it on him. No, that wasn't me, lol. I got one too. How? Is that your other account, lol? No. No. What? I'm a rando. <laughs> Who is this guy? 
Where'd he come from? There's no way. That wasn't My other you. accounts are lost in woods, I think. Was that really not you, though? I am right here and confused also. This is insane. What the fuck is happening? You were showing me places, I think. I guess we can go to my house after all, LL. Are you sure we can't get in from a free area? Yes, haha. Fine, let's go. It's very rare for Gary to venture into paid worlds, but I just really want to see this guy's house. We are in. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Whoa. Squad of fighters. Probably killing KBD. I don't want to go to their house. Don't worry, they are busy. How do we get to your house now? Tongue face. You right click on that big purple portal and click friend's house and type in northern lits. No. You're offline. <laughs> Wait for me to join. Alright, let's see it. Okay, I can't join his house still. I can't get in. Are you typing my I name? I thought right? it was spelled it. Oh, nope, I am missing an N. Alright, perfect. I'm great. Oh. This wow, is it. Wow, this is... This is a house. Definitely a house. You live here? Yeah, sorta. In RuneScape, you don't spend much time in your POH. In my what? In your player-owned house. POH. Oh, okay. I mean, I would spend time here, personally. Can I get a tour? Lamau, yeah. So, this is my kitchen. Wow, very spacious. Yeah, there are some things I want to add. I think it looks fine. Yeah, okay. This is the dining room. Great. One of my favorite rooms. Why? This is why. He's just sitting. That does look nice. Try it. Isn't that nice? Yeah, this is epic. Yeah, we can do this as long as we want. Let's see the next room. The rooms aren't very optimized. Dang, I was sure I had a door here. No problem when we take the other route. Okay, this guy <laughs> is fucking with me. <laughs> There's no way. You really need to put that door back. Yeah, top of my list. What's the point of this room? So this room is actually very useful because of this. The drawers? What does that do? You see that? No. My hands watch them. Whoa. <laughs> Holy cow, that is useful. Moving on. Chair room. All right, this one has the most work put into it. This guy knows how to design a house. I am stuck. I'll look through the window. You can walk in, man. Oh. No problem, you're good. Can't believe they have sitting in this game. I'd like to talk to you, Whoa. Gary Gilbert. Whoa. Gary Gilbert, are you there? Yeah, it's a pretty old game too. Yeah, I am here. Talk to me, Gary Gilbert. Okay, what? Ignore that guy. Talk to me, Gary Gilbert. Not a player. I am talking. Talk to me, Gary Gilbert. Get out. Gary Gilbert. What? Talk to me, Gary Gilbert. Dismiss him, right click. Rumble. Rumple. Made me get up. That normally doesn't happen. Yeah, this room is mostly for relaxing. I don't feel very relaxed after that. Nah, I swear that never really happens. How often do you sit here? This is like my third time sitting in this chair. This is the only real room in the house right now. What do you mean real? People use houses to assist them with things in game. Like killing gods. No, not things like that. Like crafting items, training prayers, teleporting places. I don't really like construction though, so I haven't built anything like that. Do you ever have people over sometimes? Honestly, you're the first one to ever come into my house. I am honored. Do you think you would ever throw a party? No, people don't really throw parties at POH. Why not? They just want to train skills and make money. That sucks. Kind of sad, yeah? So no one throws parties? Well, people uh, host their houses for others to use. Can we go to one? Yeah, but we have to go to World 330. Okay. God, I couldn't even get in. Yeah, there's a lot of people. Game is telling us to pick a quieter world. It's fine, lol. Gary's first house. Here it is. He's never been in one of these before. Oh. Yep, this is what an expensive house looks like. This is kind of a party who is hosting. One of those guys over there. What's wrong with that guy's back? Hello. Hot. Is this your house? Yes, sir. Do you throw parties here? You're at one. Am I, though? Is this a party? Because it kind of just seems like people are doing prayer. Can you give me a tour of your house, please? Casper will. He's the designated tour guide. Who is Casper? Guard. This guy? Is it hard to become a tour guide here? Oh my god, Northern's looking for a job. What are his qualifications for touring the house? Did he help build? These guys aren't being very engaging with their guests. Which is me. No one else really cares. Casper, can you show me the house? Guys, I gotta be honest, I don't think I'm getting a tour. I am really high. You might need to talk to Casper about his performance. This is such a disappointing experience for Gary. This is supposed to be his first house party. I mean, just look, look at the rooms. Look at these. This guy built them. Just so no one could ever go in them. No one's ever stepped foot in there. I mean, what's the point? As Gary sat on the throne overlooking this empty house, he started wondering why it was so empty. It seemed like everywhere he went on his home world, people were standing around, talking. This world had twice as many people on it, and no one was talking, even in a cool place like this. So Gary sat there and wondered, what if what you up he- to? Oh, one second, that, that guy's back. Thinking. Nice. What do you think of this house? It's okay. Just feels very empty. This is about as good as it gets. I think it could be better. Uh, not really. This is a max level house. Yeah, but no one is having fun. 
the tour guide isn't even working. Houses aren't really about having fun, sec bathroom. I think I can change that, though. And at that moment, Gary knew the very first thing he was going to do as a RuneScape member. Become a house host and throw the greatest POH party of all time. If Gary wants to see success in this house party, he's got to learn this place inside and out. Gary's got zero knowledge of how houses work. We've got to start from the beginning. And the beginning is not inside any of the houses, it's outside. We have to start at square one, the house advertisement board. This is where players see which houses they can join. They can see the host's name, their construction level, if they have a gilded altar, their tiers of portal nexus, jewelry box, superior garden pool, spellbook altar, and if they have an armor stand. If Gary wanted to make sure people were going to join his house, he couldn't have any of these names overshadowing him, so he would need to have every box checked and every number maxed out. 99 construction was the most important. It's the first thing that players see on the board, and even though you can technically max out a house at 84, any number less than 99 would not be taken seriously. I would also need to build an occult altar, which requires you to have every single spell book available to you. This meant completing Desert Treasure, Lunar Diplomacy, and Ascent of Arceus, and all of those had sub-requirements, which gave me some more depth to my checklist. So right away I started working towards those spell book requirements. Meanwhile, even though I had a rough idea of the most efficient layout possible, I didn't want to take my own word for it, I wanted to get the host's words for it. For the next three months, I went undercover as a low-level player who didn't know anything, going into every house I possibly could, checking the house advertisement board multiple times a day. I told hosts that I was aspiring to one day be like them. Since I was so good at pretending to be bad at the game and not know anything, they didn't hesitate at all to let me in on their secrets and strategies, knowing there was almost no chance of me ever becoming a threat to their operations. Some of them were respectful while I asked innocent questions, but some of the bigger hosts didn't like that I was new to the game, and took advantage of me in front of their guests. Doc Saban, this house is epic. Thank you very much. How much did it cost total, you think? I am saving up to build a cool house. 400 500 mil. Oh cool. I think I can make that. Start in Slayer, so I'll be making a house in no time. Well, Slayer isn't that much money, my man. How do you make 500 million then? You're level 12 too? You can't kill anything. I killed a lot. You're killing us monsters, man. No, they are tough. You're oh. level 12. Level is just a number. That's so Bro, funny. get the fuck out. Come on. I I'm can't freezing. listen to this. Come on. You're making my ears bleed. But I love your house. Dude's a moron. X Grace. Hi. This house is epic. I want to build something like this one day. TY sir. Do you ever give house tours? Sure man, follow me. If you click this portal, you will see the rest of my house. I think it glitched. It sent me outside. Wow. Weird. Try again. I was really confused, because when people invite me into their homes, they're usually accommodating and nice to me. This was much different hospitality than I was used to. Most of the hosts took time to talk to me, even if it was to make a joke at my expense in front of all of their guests. But there was one well-known household name that I just couldn't crack. They go by the name of Workless. It seemed no matter what approach I used, I couldn't get a response from this inanimate house host, and I really wanted to pick their brain to see what their secret was to being so successful. I sent my friend 8 sat in to try something else. It's well known that a lot of hosts are deprived of female interaction, so I assume they'd jump at a rare opportunity to talk to one. What an honor is, is to stand next to one of the greatest hosts in host history. I'm a huge fan of your work. I just feel so at home here, honestly. What's your secret? But this guy still wouldn't budge, and I discovered something shocking. Workless, your house is really cool. He is a bot. He's a bot. XD. Bot house. What do you mean, bot? Found or Varric, I'm pretty sure. Robot. See, his replies don't match what you say, cause it's scripted. What the? He lazy ass motherfucker trying to get all your tips and real world trade them. Jagex, ban this man, please. Why do people use this house if it is bot? Just like you, many people don't know it's a bot. It turns out one of the most successful house hosts has been a bot this oh. entire time. Even though the biggest hosts weren't very nice to me, it ultimately didn't matter. Because while they were busy coming up with ways to insult me, I was secretly getting footage of their entire house and inputting their layout into to an industry standard architecture software, each house being analyzed and observed to compare overall efficiency. I was mostly interested in asking about the non-traditional layouts, wondering if these low-profile hosts knew something the most popular host didn't, but usually it was just that the host didn't really know what they were doing, and their designs leading to nobody using their house. I finally had the perfect layout, so I knew exactly what I needed to build, and during those weeks of research, I was simultaneously finishing up the spellbook grind. By watching Solo Mission's Quest Cape speedrun, I was able to copy exactly what he did to do the most unnecessary 
unnecessarily efficient things possible, and I progressed the account faster than I've ever progressed any account ever. Before I finished the spellbook quests, I figured I would just get 99 construction out of the way. I did mahogany tables all the way to 99. There's not much to it. It's a very linear thing to do. You click two buttons on your keyboard for hours on end until you can't get a higher level. It'll be a big moment for me. It's gonna be level? Big moment for Gary right now. Here it goes. Here goes nothing. Oh my god, it's actually 99. Whoa, whoa, let's go. <laughs> oh, Bro, I, was, I was gonna be like 92 wow. or something. No, no, we're here, dude. We're here. Easy. Since I've completed each of these quests about 18 times now, it was pretty straightforward and smooth sailing, even at a very low level. Took my clothes off, you're fucked. <laughs> you are not getting past this. It's actually over. I'm on team camel. Don't I know, fucking... it's Camille, bro. No, it's camel. It's Camille. You, you would know if you were actually camel. friends with him like me. Team camel. Why are you friends yeah. with all these sketchy motherfuckers, dude? dude they, they, come they come to me, 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 that's why. Why are they coming to you? I don't know why they're coming to me, but they come to me and I'm like, yeah, let's hang out. Fucking weird, man. I unlocked all three of the spell books and could officially build an occult altar. This is Gary's house, the most optimized player-owned house to ever exist. At the entrance, we have the Big Seven. If you ask any modern old-school player what makes a house good, there's a 100% chance that they mention one of these rooms. The Gilded Altar, Achievement Gallery, Portal Nexus, Study, Workshop, Hall, and Spiritual Fairy Ring. After comparing all of the layouts, this setup here would prove to be the most efficient, weighing the importance of each utility and how much desire there is for each of them. But not only is this the most efficient design for players looking to maximize their XP per hour, but it's also been optimized for the crowd that houses were originally meant for. The north half of this section is more for the active socializers, containing four different combat rings to choose from, a yard to hang out in, and a games room. On the southern half are the rooms with seating for the guests who want to have a more calm experience in the house, and another yard for fresh air. This way, the social crowd is not disturbing the skilling crowd, and the skilling crowd isn't pushing their no XP waste agenda onto the social crowd. But that's not all. In the hall behind the altar is a stairway to upstairs. This upstairs area was built to give guests a space for more private matters, and it's encouraged that whatever happens up here stays up here. Every room has been decorated with the most luxurious option available. There are even odes to World 301 Lumbridge hung throughout the house. Even though the house was fully built, it did not come without a few obstacles. You may have noticed there is one place I didn't show you, the dungeon. In my initial design, I had planned on running obstacle course events downstairs, with the strongest monsters available attacking players between traps. However, when I started putting it together, there was an oversight I never thought about. Even with 99 construction, players are limited to 34 rooms total. This meant I had to make some compromises, as the initial design was over ambitious apparently. I was looking forward to building that dungeon because they were a big attraction when POHs were first introduced to the game, but since the purpose of this house was a party setting, I wanted to prioritize the overall social environment, so rather than changing my design on the surface, I unfortunately decided to scrap the dungeon. Everyone has fought their fair share of monsters out there, and the ones in my dungeon would only be less rewarding. I personally think the 34 room limit is a very 2006 choice in mechanic, and nothing's been done about it because there are only 7 rooms in the house that matter to players. If we revive the social climate of house parties, maybe one day we can convince Jagex to double the room limit, making for even better parties. But it meant I could only have two rooms in the dungeon. I can't imagine it'll be too crowded down there, but maybe a weird friend group will happen down there or something. The next biggest hiccup was a lot more stressful for me. In the achievement gallery, there's a display case. Players can place a jar dropped from a boss, and it will display a museum-like model of it inside this glass display. I had tried buying a jar from the Grand Exchange and using it on the case, but to display any of them, you have to have killed them at least once. And since I was only about level 70, getting a kill count on any of them would be extremely difficult, but rather than coming up with an elaborate way to get a kill count on anything, I realized that in that same room, there was something that could save me. Across from the display rack is a mounted cape slot, but capes aren't the only thing you can put there. You have the option to build a table that displays a hundred million coins. If I built the mounted coins there, it would draw attention away from the empty display case. Since most players will never have that kind of money, seeing that much on a table in front of them would be a once in a lifetime experience. Most of them will be so stunned by the amount of wealth in front of them, they won't register that there's a display case in the room at all. So, I sold some gear on my main account and gave Gary 200 million coins. If you're wondering why I transferred double the amount needed, it's because I also wanted to build the golden sink, which also costs 100 million coins. It doesn't work better than a normal sink, but I wanted guests to know that Gary takes his house very seriously, and an ordinary sink wouldn't meet the bar I've set for this house. The next most stressful situation was, of course, the portal nexus. It has the ability to hold 30 teleport spells that players can use unlimited times. To program a teleport into it, you need to have all the requirements 
requirements to cast the teleport yourself. Magic level, spell book, and any quest requirements. Even though I was able to get most of the teleports in there, there were a few that were out of reach, and by that I mean I didn't want to get them. So for the entire time that Gary's house is open, me and a few dedicated staff members will have all of these teleport tablets on us. In case someone needs to teleport to a place I didn't put in the portal nexus, I wanted to make sure there was absolutely nothing you couldn't do here that you could do at another house. I was also worried about getting a Xerix Talisman, since it was a 1 in 250 drop, but luckily it only took 17 Lizardmen for it, and it didn't pose an issue at all. The very last issue I ran into was the games room. Unlike the combat ring, you can only have one of these rooms in your house. I had initially planned on having more games rooms, so that guests could play different games like Hangman, but since I could only have one, I went with the hide and seek game since it will let players explore the house while also stimulating their short attention spans. But even with all those obstacles, it all worked out, and the house was officially ready. It's well known that house hosting is incredibly competitive and can cause for a lot of hostility. Normally, I wouldn't assert myself very much, but Gary's house is only up for five days, so it was important to not hold back and assure that we are the best choice. We asked a few hosts about how they get new guests and stay busy. Some resort to putting spamming auto-typers outside the portal. Others will try and manipulate the advertisement board to get other host names knocked to the bottom. And with Gary's name being at one end of the alphabetical spectrum, this sort of tactic could ruin everything. To see if there was any truth to this tactic, I got in a call with Mod Sween. I always thought the board was by default sorted by opposite alphabetical order. It's how it's been every time I've ever opened it. You know, I'm painstakingly walking on this fresh level three over to see what is the default view of the board when you first open it for the very first time. You're going over to do it? Yeah, I'm walking really slowly from Numbridge. <laughs> it's gonna it's gonna take a while. I'm about to open the house board for the very first time in this account. Okay. Oh, dude, I've got bad news. What? It's sorted A to Z. No. It is. No, it's not. Yes, it is. I promise you, I haven't touched any filter. Swin quickly debunked it by taking a new account to the portal and clicking the advertisement board for the first time. It was sorted alphabetically. Just to make sure he wasn't pulling a JMod trick, I took a new account there too, and it turns out he was telling the truth. But a couple days later when I asked players about it in another host's house, they all said that their list was also listed opposite alphabetically. I couldn't get to the bottom of this advertisement board, so I had to make sure people knew to find my name on the board no matter where it was. And since Gary's a strong follower of the rules of the game, he's hired real players to stand outside the portal and manually type unique advertisements. I won't reveal every tactic we have yet for strategic purposes, but we had some tricks up our sleeve that were going to assure our success. For five days, starting today, March 15th, Gary's house will be open to the public on World 330, and every day, small events will be taking place, and some major ones too. The major events will take place on a world separate from 330, and will be live-streamed on my Twitch. The major events include a PvP tournament, a fashionscape contest, and the event that I'm the most excited about. If you play played RuneScape before 2012, you may remember RuneScape gatherings. They were the original RuneFest. It was a way to meet your favorite RuneScapers, all in one place together in the game. On Sunday, March 17th, Gary will be opening the house up on a to-be-determined world that is not World 330, and will be recruiting as many creators, streamers, PvPers, artists, and jmods as possible, and will be hosting the RuneScape Gathering of 2024. On my Discord server, which is linked in the description, we will have an event category set up for additional information, or announcements if something changes. Gary also has a Twitter X account thing, which he'll be announcing stuff there too, but I think it's time we open the house. This is a story. A story of persistence, nostalgia, and revival. A story that is eager to continue writing itself. This is the story of Gary Gilbert's player-owned house.